is a magic spirit and it's a great opportunity to talk about Mexico to the world. Uh, tequila is a spirit that made out of a sacred plant. It's a spirit that takes so long in the production and when I represent a premium tequila brand, I think I'm taking the best part of Mexico to everybody else. Tequila is part of the Mexican heritage. It was named our drink, our national drink during the Mexican Revolution. And since then, it's been enjoying a huge popularity, not just uh, on a certain part of uh, our population. Everyone can enjoy tequila. We've been making tequila known worldwide so that you can take a part of Mexico to the rest of the world. The most important for me as the as a Mexican, is also to represent a product that is, is an image of Mexico, besides the color, the food, the mariachis, the tequila is part of our country. And of course, to represent the best tequila in Mexico, that means that we are representing one of the best traditions that we can have. Be part of that is what I make, make, make me pride by, by far. There's this tequila culture, this, um, this spirit, this dream that brings us together and uh, we are proud of it, of course. What I personally love about tequila is that I am Mexican and I am really proud to let the world know that we have a, te a product that it is done in here and cannot be done anywhere else. So that is what tequila is all about and I am proud to be Mexican and I am proud to be part of the project of the tequila expansion in the world. Everything is about agave. If you don't have that, then you might as well be doing something else. How many spirits are made out of a crop that can only be collected by hand? Well, the important part of the agave is to grow to where you grow it. You have to select the right plantation where the uh, soil has a lot of nutrients. It has in the, in the right location, so you have the right the right terroir. And uh, even though the agave does not need any water whatsoever through through this growing stage, you have to wait for seven years at least for the agave to be ready. So that makes it very complicated. The raw material requires six to seven years to to grow before it is processed to transform the agave sugars, in this case is uh, inulin as starch, into sugars and then fermenting, and then uh, milling, then distilling, and after that we have the tequila. By norm, a tequila has to be distilled at, at least two times. That's where you get a blanco or silver tequila. And then, of course, you can put it to rest into wood containers to make for reposados, añejos, and extrañejos. For tequila, the U.S. market is by far the largest export market. It's um, more than 160 million liters at 40% alcohol. It is now twice as big as the Mexican market which is, I, I guess, an impressive statistic and hard for many Mexicans to believe. It's now 7% or around 7% of the share of the total distilled spirits, distilled spirits market in the U.S. and growing quickly and more importantly, growing in the premium category. Tequila is sort of a bridge to the world and a bridge that is every day being more recognized, more respected more acknowledged as something that is really very unique, very complex, very subtle, very uh, delightful, and I think that that in itself is a representation of what we are all about.